Welcome back to Vulcan Leagues 3. Killed the Crystal Hunlift once and got the Crystal Tool Seed off of the log already. Oh, that's 225 tasks to get that drop and to complete the Gauntlet. Are we at Tier 7 yet? 20 points. Okay, I'm going to go unlock Tier 7 so I can do this better, so I have Double Tap and the Mage one. Oh my god, you get so many crystal shards from a single gauntlet run, too. I'm gonna have my halberd in no time. Equipping this bracelet is going to be the task that pushes me over into tier 7, which unlocks all of the fragment slots. Just doing barbarian fishing. And I believe that's just... What does that even give? I don't think it's anything special other than I have the best XP rate in the uh, game. Uh, Arcane Grimoire. I think that means I can change. I get an item that lets me change my uh, spellbook at any time, which is pretty handy if I'm doing mage and using thralls. On that note, I need to do more task board. Oh, um, I guess I'm going for the. Uh, Gauntlet collection log, because I just got the pet on three kills. <laughs> oh no. Uh, uh, the reason I say that is hey, the pets are the hardest part of the logs, so I might as well go for them, right? I mean. Oh, you get two armor seeds, ten enhanced keys, and two mystery boxes for that, too. Yeah, that should not actually be so good. <laughs> How? Oh, no. I always forget how many free tasks there are because of the way this game alters bosses. I have Gauntlet Speedrunner for six points. Uh, cool. That's a lot of points. Alright, I'm still not really super used to Gauntlet, but that should be enough shards to make ourselves a Crystal Halberd so we have a proper melee spec weapon, which is going to be very nice. Now I just need to figure out where I want to use this thing. I've racked up a few Hispori seeds while skilling, so let's go ahead and unlock that, just because that's going to be a fairly convenient little boss. It's not exactly something I can focus on right now, but... I believe I just pray mage and can just go all in here. So I've been told anyway. Oh yeah, I think the crystal halberd is a lot better with full crystal armor, but I'm gonna have to grind gauntlet for those seeds and I'm not down for that right now. Task Weed Whacker for killing the four flower adds. Spore isn't for beating Hespori. Oh, I can't collect from Arno, maybe? Um. Where do I get my stuff? Apparently, it goes directly to your bank. Whoops. So, yep. Fishing boxes, skilling boxes, we'll be opening all of those, like, once, and then probably just doing Hespori off camera, because, like, who cares about supplies? I know that's not the exciting drops you come here for, but I mean, hey, I like finding out what you get from things. I find it interesting to see what servers give for, like, raids commons. Alright, so we got two skilling boxes, two fishing boxes, four herb secondaries, and one apiece tree, and fletching boxes. Oh, that is... I like it's stinky. But, I mean, other than that, that is... A lot of very nice supplies. Jeez. This quarry is, um, it's worth doing. There are actually a few uh, plugins I want to call attention to, just to be 
you know, just to show off how I do things. Uh, first of all, GPU mode, absolute must, makes the game run so much better. Um, you can also up the draw distance. And there's all these extra options, but just having it on using your graphics card does so much. Uh, I'm also using uh, what is it? Interact Highlight. That's how you know it's showing that I'm interacting with Preset Master because the entity has a glow around. It. Just very handy for figuring out click boxes. I don't think there's anything else too crazy. I mean, obviously, I use uh, what is it? Uh, ground items when I'm going for a specific thing. Like, I have the clue boxes. I use scrolls, they don't drop on their own. Black mask, because I was going for that a little bit. Throwing an asterisk because that is a common list. I believe. But yeah, just figured, hey, server has rune light, I'm gonna show how I use it. With that test for not using potions, honestly, I think I'm gonna just stick to doing that because potions, kind of a waste of time. Oh god, man. I just straight up skip. Two dragons. I don't like two dark beasts either because they can hit because they will range randomly. Come on. Task for five gauntlet KC. There's our gauntlet cape off of the log. But hey, got the weapon seed already at six KC. Maybe we'll be through them with this log pretty quick, because I think it's... I go to Gauntlet. Armor Seed and Weapon Seed, and they're on the same raid, I think. Due to the no armor run of regular Gauntlet, I'm not looking forward to the corrupted version of that. I am never doing that again on regular Gauntlet. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm doing corrupted Gauntlet if I don't log by the time I finish all the tasks, but... Um, there's a very... Very good chance I don't do all the tasks. I still don't have 3 to 1 range, let alone Gauntlet Master. Or, er, sorry, uh, perfect on lift. Uh, there's a certain amount of pain, I think. I mean, that's what I've ascertained from talking in the Discord. Uh, there's just some pain that makes prayer switches a little awkward. Also, I've never done actual OSRS PBM uh, back when, back in actually like 2007 and on, the highest end PBM I ever did was a Bandos Mass with my clan chat and sometimes going to Giant Mole. All of my RuneScape PBMing comes from RS3. <laughs> I have not done an all mechanics arc glacor. Well, there's three, two, one range, so I didn't take damage off prayer, but I sure did hit off of its prayer. Eh, that's a third weapon seed I've got. Come on, give me an armor seed or the enhanced seed. Got a armadil dehyde body for five mil off of the grand exchange. Just kind of had a itch to check. I had one that was like 8 mil and it was sniped, so I now have four armadil items for the sake of using the bolt proc perk, so that's awesome. Apparently crystal shards fetch a pretty penny on the marketplace as well if I check uh, top quantity. The crystal shards aver sell on average for 3k, so I mean... I'll pop them in there. Also selling the crystal tool seed for 10 mil. So that's another 17 mil in the TP. Back to suffering. And I've got 13k skilling points, so I might as well get another skilling outfit done. The prospector set. 
Witch Leaves. Let's see, we have Angler. I think I picked up Lumberjack. Rogue and Prospector, which means we need Graceful. We're going to need a lot of Graceful sets if we want to do all the tasks. I don't know about that. And Farmers. Which are both sets of 2,500 each, so 10k for the Farmer and 15k for the first Graceful set. And I should probably, like, you know... Grab the gaunt, the skilling gauntlets. I'm gonna grab the cooking gauntlets while I'm here, actually, just because uh, that that's handy. Also, like, why am I holding onto these ballista limbs? Toss them in for 2.5 mil each. And honestly, the magus, the magus shard, eight mil. Yeah, I'm gonna pop that in there too, like. Mage is not really a big concern for me anyway, it's more the uh, archer upgrade that I'm interested in. Hopefully that will bring in some cash so I can get like a real piece of armadillo armor, preferably the chain skirt, just so I have the more of an upgrade, but... Anyway, now actually back to pain. Actually, I'm gonna pick up this super cheap Archer's Ring for 25 mil. And then I'm gonna go sit at uh, Nightmare Zone and imbue it after I save this as a ranged preset. Actually, while I'm here, uh, I do want to address something. Uh, these are not sponsored videos. These are hobbyist videos for the time being. I mean, I'm not against taking sponsorships, but if I'm doing a sponsored video, it's going to have, like, a giveaway in the title that just requires the in-game name, the comments, you know, the ones. Personally, I like knowing that people are watching the videos for the videos, but I mean, that you're always going to have a large-ish percentage of people who are there for ulterior motives, I guess. Um, so yeah, just want to put that out there when people are like, why don't you upload more? Because it has happened. I'm, I'm using one instance as my driving force behind this. To be clear, I have not been swarmed because, like, 20 people watch these, well, 20 people click on these, like, 3 people watch these, and, and don't, don't deny it, I can see average watch time, <laughs> um, not per individual, just per video, yeah, just throwing that out there, please, chill, <laughs> turns out you can AFK Nightmare Zone overnight, which is something I remembered people talking about. So, uh, 99 melee, 99 attack and strength. But I have so much more strength experience when I was using the uh, So that's ridiculously good. Of course, range and mage are done by chinning and bursting at uh, undead monkeys. I just need to get chins. I know we're all even more all over the place here, but I promise this is slightly relevant to the Nightmare Zone grind. Uh, Basilisk Knight, apparently killing one is, or while using the Beast Shield, is a elite combat task. I really need to take a closer look at, like, what the good combat tasks are. Why am I not on... I'm on... I did a gauntlet run, so I forgot to switch back to melee uh, fragments. I wish there were fragment presets, but I know that would be, like, dev time. Alright, it's been long enough. Let's buy the salve amulet. I've been doing some community tasks. Certainly not, it's not happening. But, I want to also go over to Nightmare Zone, because this is the regular salve amulet. That's only a 5% bonus, I think. We need to imbue it. But, there's no Tarn's Lair here. It's kind of silly, but if you go to Rewards, Upgrades, Imbue Salve Amulet, Imbue Salve Amulet E, 
imbue salve amulet I. And we get the salve amulet EI. Best necklace against undead enemies. And it works on all combat styles. So that is... Actually, I'm curious. What bosses actually are undead now that I think about it? Obviously, Barrows. Uh, Cerberus. Don't think Cerberus is. I think that's just a Hellhound. Corp Beast is weird. Dead Kings, Guard Normal, Guardians, KQ, Kraken, Grill, Nex. Is a Nightmare undead? I actually don't know. Oboros, Katizo, Tobras, TOB. I think Vampires count as undead. Vorkath. Okay, I mean, Vorkath alone is a pretty solid one. Plus, like I said, Barrows. Anything else that counts as undead. Uh, cool. That is a... <laughs> that's actually a fairly large item to be just casually be like, okay, done. But here we are. I guess... It goes in, like, a high-end combat gear tab. Got a combat task at Kree. Uh, Airborne Showdown. Finish her... Finish off Kree while all of his bodyguards are dead. Um, I think that's one that randomly occurs. <laughs> oh, hey. Godsword Shard 2. Neat. Give me that, Ray. Yeah, just if you want to get start doing Kriara, just get some of the armadillo uh, dehyde stuff. The DPS increase from the double bolt procking is so so good. It helps with survivability. I'm sure Dragon's Touch as a passive contributes, but to be honest, I've never paid attention and seen it go off. So I'm just assuming. Uh, next trip, I'll probably, like, bring Alks <laughs> to help make up a little bit for the... What's it called? Instance cost? Yeah. Just a pretty... Solid way to start with um, classic bossing, I guess. Like, actual old school bossing, not Gauntlet. I have opinions about the direction of old school Runescape. And the exact item I wanted the Armadil chain skirt at 18kc. Okay. Just spoon me, game. Just keep on. <laughs> Spooning me these damn items. Hell yeah. Okay, I'm mad. My recorder decided, oh, I'm gonna reset all the settings. So I was fumbling with it, so I died. I have the helmet on the log now, I guess, at least. But I was too busy fumbling with the damn recorder. Pick the damn thing up. <sighs> Thank you, Streamlabs OBS. Very goddamn cool. And just to prove I'm not being weird and being like, oh, I got a drop that I didn't get. in here. Yeah. 30kc armor helm. Oh, the shards are shards. It's, it's very... I legitimately had to take, like, a break because I was so irritated with how that played out. Uh, let no one claim that I am one of the more mature people in this, uh, content creation space. But, I'm finally back at it, grinding that Armadil. Uh, there was a patch, so now both hits on Double Tap can spec. Apparently the second one, for a while, just couldn't. So, 
now I'm shredding even more once I actually like get into this. We are uh, adept for breaking 50 kill count. Had a daily task to kill 15 KBD, and I really do need to start building up community favor, so... Hey, maybe we'll get lucky and get that dragon pickaxe. I mean, it's only, uh, 1 in 1 in 333 is actually not a terrible drop rate, plus the 1 in 435 for a visage. Yeah, I mean... Worst case, I got some tasks done from kill count. Oh, I didn't realize KBD only has, like, three combat tasks. I think I might actually be done. Just need him to die real quick. So that I can double check that I'm on all and not only completed. Uh, never mind. I still need a clock that bring to kill it with protect the melee on and kill it with a stab weapon at some point. Not right now. I mean, it did drop like a really long sword. I could have used that for like a last hit, but super easy stuff. Oh hey, KBD heads. I'm gonna regret saying this, but it might be fun to have like a Slayer helmet of every recolor. And there's a 50 kill KBD trip. I'm sure that it can be extended even longer with better gear, but I mean... For what I have, 50 kills of a chill boss is not bad. KB heads are the only uncommon we got there. Oh well. Boom, hiatus attack. Uh, so I was on a trip for the last basically two weeks. Uh, there's been a couple of uh, patches. Was it two or one? I think it's been two since I last played. Uh, let me check the date on that recording. 903, okay, we had the big player suggestion, update 41. So update 42, big thing is, oh, there actually has not been a major update since. Uh, they are going to be releasing uh, Leagues 5 along with OSRS content catch-up in December. Uh, I'm not going to be playing a League's 5 account, because I want to actually, hello, uh, do, I want to finish this account. I don't know what my end goal is, but I do know I'm not done with League's 3 yet, and I don't want to distract myself by jumping into uh, another account distracting myself, all that nonsense, so just an update there. Forgot what I was doing before the trip, so I decided to pop back over to Armadil, got another Armadil helm, and this time I'm going to pick it up instead of uh, skill issuing over it. I'm still kind of bummed about losing that first one, but hey, this is worth a chunk of money. Yeah, there is 99 defense. Just figured, hey, I'm here, I'm gaining XP, might as well. Okay, this account is cursed. Another Armadil Helm at 98kc. And a God Sword Shard 3 from a minion, which does count for the collection log, which is nice. Completed the Feather Hunter task, killed Priara 30 times in a privately rented instance without leaving the room. That's six achievement points. Nice. Collection log. Priara Veteran Achievement for. 100 KC. By the way, that God Sword shard was 1 in 600. <laughs> Ultimately, not the craziest armadillo trip, but I mean, two helms is not bad. I don't think shards sell for anything. Alks. Some loop halves, which. Let's see, do I have any. Yeah, it's. Uh, or I have loop halves. That's 10 crystal keys, essentially. Eh. It could definitely be a lot better, but hey, that's, let's check how much these are going to go for. Alright, I'll, um, okay. I'll pop them in for... K. 
Okay. I'm, I'm not above kind of undercutting. That's just how these economies work. With that said, though, I think I am going to go ahead and end the video here, and we're going to go ahead and do some Slayer off screen, just kind of get that level up, get those points up. Uh, I want to work towards maxing fairly soon, but I gotta figure out, you know, what's the least painful way to train a lot of these skills. So, thanks for joining, I hope you enjoyed, I... Thank you for your patience between videos, and I will see you next time on the League's 3 account.